What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're trying out a new chat client today in the uh, in the channel that Kerwit actually created from scratch. And uh, if a link is posted in the chat, it will show up as, as an image. Or if, it, if, it, if a link to an image is, is posted, the image will just show up. And if a link is posted in the chat, it'll show up as a QR code. So if you guys are watching on YouTube and a link is posted, instead of like having to retype it out, you can just scan it with your phone. But uh, we're doing a modern cube draft today. I kind of want to start with Essence Scanner. Or Venser. Venser probably better, right? Images only work for mods, which is probably for the best because... Well, you know. Gideon's also pretty good. Hmm... I don't know which one it is. I'm gonna take Venser. It lets me take all the blue cards that I really want to take, like Blink of an Eye or Shark Typhoon. I kind of want to take Shark Typhoon. I'll be honest with you. <coughs> and if you go to that QR code right there, you can get five percent off by using promo code Frank Five and check out my article that I wrote this week. I want to take Shark Typhoon. That seems fun. Oh, and there, if you guys want to try nordvpn.org slash franklapore, you can click on that link right there. This is a nice Ashiok third pick. I'm okay with that. The only other option is Serum Visions or Teferi. Or we can just take the Teferi. I'm going to take Ashiok. I think Ashiok's real good. Josh doesn't like him very much, but that's okay. He doesn't have to. Man, I'm just wandering around. Can't just sit down and relax. Karanos is nice. I also like a Night Veil Spectre. I don't think we're going to Golos here. <clears throat> Man, Karanos three color though? I think Karanos is really strong. I think it's significantly stronger than Night Veil Spectre. God, I really wish there was like two color ramp in this format. Yeah, we got to turn off the just get here to see Ashiok did, 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 did already approve. Yeah, it's <laughs> you can tell it's going to be a little problematic. Let's take Heartless. Eh, okay, so what if we're not black? What if we're just red blue? What do we do then? It's not grim. I don't think careful consideration is that great. I think it's fine, but I think it's probably Heartless Act. Like, removal's pretty good in this format. Being able to kill anything is nice. Eh, we'll take a Dark Slick Shores. I don't think it's Mizium Orders because Triple Red seems hard. We can easily just splash a red for the Karanos off of, I don't know, Silver Falls, Steam Vents. Scalding Tarn, obviously, we'll get those three, so. What problem is? <coughs> uh, MTGO, the draft screen on MTGO got a, kind of a redesign, so. <laughs> Kurt posting Boros Reckoners in the chat like you do. ten dollar bill bill here and I never use cash on anything so I'm like I don't know when I'm gonna use this ooh language seems nice so does Inferno Titan so does Noxious Gear Hulk but Inferno Titan's gotta be better than Noxious Gear Hulk right yeah we just have to take Inferno Titan that card is a windmill slam thank you ma'am 
banging bombity bomb bomb. Shield is the only card we're going to play here. <clears throat> Let's be real. Oh, okay, none of these are any good. Well, for us, anyway. Tempest Gin. Eh. Eh. Engineer Explosives. Whatever. <coughs> well, yeah, the images wouldn't post from the actual chat because I can't change Twitch chat. I can only show, I can only change what's displayed on my, on my end. I think Dungeon Geist is actually fine. I don't know which direction we're going right now. Let's put up some more color. I think red is still the... Thank you! Hajgu lost you with 31 months. I appreciate you, buddy. I actually got wrecked yesterday by Profane Command, so we'll see. We've been doing like five color Planeswalker nonsense previously, so let's see if we can actually, like, get back in gear on a non, like, four to five color Planeswalker deck. <coughs> yeah, Hex Mage is fine. Let somebody else get that approach of the second sun. Sun is a sun is a hero blade hold? What are these white cards going so late, dude? Eh, grave crawler. Not gonna play a grave crawler, but okay, sure. Man, if we had a mono white deck, it'd probably be pretty banging right now. I do like a damnation. I think we're just more pressed than taking a water grave here. <clears throat> and then ideally like reflecting pool or damnation come back. Now we can have commands that are pictures. That's actually pretty funny. Ashiok? This card has busted me several times. I'm definitely taking second Ashiok. Let's start back every mana cost again. Crusher Giant's nice. Land of Last Hope seems great here. That's just a Planeswalker. Dissolve also seems pretty good. Um, <clears throat> I'll take Liliana. I think Planeswalkers are probably stronger than counter spells. How do people feel about the profile images? Does it make it easier to follow chat? Oh, Blackleaf Cliffs. Not one of my favorite cliffs. I think it's still a necessary evil, unfortunately. And that pack wasn't that great. <clears throat> Ashiok is bad if your opponent has terrible cards in the deck. Not necessarily, though, because sometimes you can just mill them out with it. It's definitely a thing that I... It's, it's, it's not super common, but it's definitely a thing that's happened. And it's just... It's weird. Ashiok psychologically feels like a lot of pressure. Like, in Limited, if you're just getting milled three cards a turn, it's like... Uh, okay, I don't know how to deal with that. With no fixing here, I think it's just Metamorph. Metamorph seems great for us. Bitter Blossom, also not bad. But without things like Jitte and with no swords, like I'm not a huge fan of of Bitter Blossom here. Two red cards. Three fixing lands. I'm okay with it so far. Clever Impersonator also seems really good. It just clones anything. 
finale <clears throat> not bad but most of the time it's just an expensive damnation like there was one time my opponent was able to kick it for like 12 mana but I think it's clever impersonator My only issue with the profile pictures is I wish there was a way to have only the people who have profile pictures displayed. Because, like, having just the default Twitch profile, just I don't think that adds anything. <clears throat> I guess it's burst lightning here. Unexciting, but that's okay. Sometimes you have an unexciting pick. Eh, Sahili Rai. Mind Shatter. Oh, you might be able to do that. That'd be interesting. I didn't know, like, it doesn't seem like something that, like, a, a program could be able to pick up on. What do they mind shatter? I don't think we're going to play it, but... Hey, Reflecting Pool came back. That's actually pretty solid. Do you, so you want everyone in the building to wear name tags? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, go for the throat? Okay. I'm not a big Rankle fan. <clears throat> also, I'm going to open a Jace the Mind Sculpture in the next pack, so I really don't want to be gumming up my four drops, you know? <sighs> Take a brawl. Oh, Bitter Blossom came back? That might just be playable. Shivan Fire. Shitty Burst Lightning. <laughs> the image is showing up in chat on on YouTube is pretty sweet. I'm gonna be honest. Hopefully, let me let me know what you guys think in the YouTube chat in the YouTube comments. I'm pretty sure everything we have here is playable. Profane commands, iffy. Bitter blossom and brawler, iffy. But I think they're still playable. Profane command for four, getting back like metamorph and killing something is still pretty good. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. We didn't open Jace the Mind Sculptor. It's, it's not your fault. I don't blame you. But Liliana Dreadhorde General is decent. Drowned Catacomb is great for us. Especially because we have like double black, double blue, double blue, double blue. Is back three too late to audible to Nissa? Possibly. It's either this or this or Marsh Flats because Marsh Flats can also get Watery Grave and potentially like a Blood Crypt if we hit one. Oh man, Kurt without a mono art. Nice. <clears throat> oh, Hodge Galashi, we already mentioned the justification in the chat that we're probably going to fix. Well, there's no catacombs in this pack, so I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the drowned cat. Oh, catacombs! Oh, <clears throat> I thought you meant verdant catacombs. Oh, creeping tar pits, nice here. Jeez. And also because we have bitter blossom, I wouldn't be opposed to like just playing a sword. Yeah, okay, grave titan's a nice nice payoff. I actually don't think bribery is that good in this queue. I think it's fine, but I don't think it's anything super special. This is more like an X spell, actually. Yeah, I'm just taking Grave Dad here. Uh, any concern for folks putting images up that are, well, not good to be up on Twitch? Well, like, the, the images only show up um, if you're a mod. So. Plus, like, they don't show up on actual Twitch. They just show up on YouTube. On Twitch, it's still going to be normal chat, so. But also, this is like the first live run of this chat, so we'll see what, what, what does and doesn't work and what we can work out, so. Dreadbore seems nice. Probably better than Murderous Cut, right? Dealing with Planeswalkers, I feel like, is very important in this cube. And it's it's cheaper than Never Return, which is valuable. 
Also, Remand is not bad, but I'd just rather have a permanent answer to a Planeswalker. Nickel Bolas! Also, Electrolyze. Maybe Electrolyze comes back. That'd be cool. I'm going to take the Nickel Bolas. <clears throat> Planeswalkers are sweet. Karanos is basically a Planeswalker. Massacre Room, Fatal Push, Jace, and Expansion Explosion here. I think Expansion Explosion is a little too expensive at Double Red, even though we do have Inferno Titan. I think Massacre Room is actually the pick, and we play it over Inferno Titan. And then we just lightly splash red. <coughs> Could also be Jace. Actually, I kind of like Jace here. I'm taking Jace. That's Planeswalker again. We know. We know what's up. Man, I wish this was a Dragon Skull Summit. Do I have any way to gain life here? I didn't think so, but maybe I'm missing something. No, literal none. So I don't like Arena and Bitter Blossom and like Metamorph. I'll take Sensor. I think we can still get some people with a Sensor. Mountain Swamp. Also a Dream Trawler. Is Dream Trawler just worth cutting the red? Probably not, right? Yeah, it's real good, though. Eh, Mountain Swamp could be... Mountain Swamp's probably the pick, right? It can also be searched if that Marsh Flats comes back, which it didn't. <laughs> which it did not. Young Moth and Bitter Blossom is actually pretty sweet. Although it's too life just to get rid of a thing. The self-control it took to avoid drafting Grixis Super Friends was non-existent. <laughs> That's true. But it also didn't have to exist. You know what I mean? Like... <clears throat> oh, let me let me scan this QR code and see what happens. <clears throat> Sub is a sub is a sailor. <clears throat> um, a braid seems like a. It seems real good. Let's put it that way. Well, I have ten creatures. Is Woe Strider better? Hmm. Scan that QR code. Oh yeah, look at that. I can open it. Open with Firefox or Twitch, I guess. And then it takes you right to the thing. Yeah, I'll take a braid. I want to have removal. <clears throat> <clears throat> Having a real for an artifact could be very good. Phoenix. Sure. I wish we had one more piece of fixing, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands is actually pretty good for three colors. What if Massacre or Fatal Push comes back? That'd be sweet. This is where I've ended up with in every cube. Not even mad about it, just bored with it. Yeah, I mean. <clears throat> Murderous Cut seems great. Gadwick actually seems decent here. Lissomania. If I see a grow. Like a ride, like a ride, oh. Not easily offended. We only have 11 creatures. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm tempted to cut Yogmoth and Bitter Blossom. I just don't think Bitter Blossom is that great when we don't have, um, like, a way to really take advantage of the tokens. Modern Cube never feels, like, modern to me. No, same. We were talking about this all day, like, where, like, they have weird choices, like, I don't know, like, some weird shit where it's like, this, this is modern legal, sure, but I don't think about it when I think about modern, you know? <clears throat> I mean, Gadwick is just Sphinx's revelation for Mono Blue, right? That can't be terrible. Let's take out Bitter Blossom, Yawgmoth. I mean, Murderous Cut's probably gonna be like a three drop, maybe. Profane Command could be decent, getting back Clever Impersonator, Phyrexian Metamorph. 
I feel like we cut Inferno Titan. I just don't want to have double red on my conscience. Especially with no fetch lands. Yeah, Ink Eyes is in this. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it might be just a meme, but like... <clears throat> well, I don't know what a main board is. So I can't really accommodate that, unfortunately, but... I mean, I, I kind of want to play 18 lands, so I think we're just cutting one more and just playing 41 with 18 lands. Got him. I also don't think we definitely need um, that. Burst Lightning is nice because it's cheap. Oh, Sensor is an easy cut. I don't even like Baral that much, to be honest. But it does make things like Murderous Cut cheaper. Profane command. These cost one. It's okay. Alright. <clears throat> we get to keep Inferno Titan. The problem is, like, how many fucking red sources do we have to play in order to play a double red card? And, like, Yogmoth isn't good without Bitter Blossom in our deck, so. Maybe we just play. Vampire Hex Mage or Inferno Titan. Interesting. God, I feel so bad. <laughs> I feel like we have enough card advantage to get a second red source. Alright, so let's just take a look at the colors here. Okay. These three cancel out. All right, so blue, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seems good. Black, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Seems good. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> I probably got a six red. The problem with drawing any more than one mountain is that Nicol Bolas is much harder to cast, but we do want our red. We have early Dreadbore, Burst Lightning, and a Braid. Yeah, 18 lands. All right, sure. 1841. I like it. Infernal Titans, I think, is just too strong. Oh my god, if you can make it so that it changes every instance of main board to main deck, that'd be hilarious. Not easily offended. <coughs> Sure, I'll keep this. Look, we got that double red. We're playing against Dingalingi, which is it's a name for sure. Oh, Utopia sprawl. Get busy sprawling, my dude. Alright, <clears throat> we're just missing one black for the Nickel Bolas. But right now we have double black, double blue, double red, so that's okay. You're gonna kill my Brawl? Oh, you're gonna play a Planeswalker. Okay. Okay. Any permanent, right? That's pretty good. I mean, this can copy Planeswalkers, which is really important. This doesn't give haste, though, right? That's the other one. Yeah, sure. It just can't be countered. Here comes Gargaroth, and we're just going to be like, well, we can't... I guess we can couple cover personally, right? <clears throat> Oracle. I kind of like an Oracle here. That seems juicy. like it two three four five if we hit another land we can play shieldred that's pretty cool it also seems very good <clears throat> okay well <laughs> in my face i guess i 
you should buy this. <laughs> That's actually from Prime One Studios, which is a very reputable statue company. I think it's also like several years old. You got it. <clears throat> oh, good. Vivian. That seems great. You know what else is old? Megalodon teeth, that's true. I was actually going to look tonight and see if I can find a sweet one. That's actually a good reminder. <clears throat> yeah, we're just going to take three here. Can I post a picture of my face? I mean, no one's going to stop you from doing that anyway, so. Okay, Vivian. So we know you're drawing Vivian Reed. And you have one other card. You can't play anything, so I'm just going to keep Heartless Act up. If you had lands on top, it'd be another story. True question, I have no face. Oh, dang. Faceless Troll got us. Oh, dang. I feel pretty got. Too many walkers is my biggest issue. I I think maybe why people are not liking this cube is that it seems so basic. Play some creatures. Um, <clears throat> I agree that it feels like most, um, most most matches come down to like, oh, I had more planeswalkers than you did. Yeah, I, I think that's definitely my feel, and I I feel like I've been espousing that that feel for quite a while. Like a ride, like a ride, ooh, not easily offended. I guess they're just going to play Vivian Reed. Mm -hmm. I really hope they try to kill Karanos, that would be f f banging. Oh my god, that'd be so sweet. Oh, they're just going to kill three lands. Two lands and their own land, sure, sounds good. Cut me off my black sources, my, bo my boy. Did someone in chat mention Hexmage? I feel like if someone mentions something and I just don't think I don't think their ideas are that good, like I just kinda I don't really follow them, but that's weird. If someone mentioned it then let me know. Got him. Fucking got him. Um alright, I'm gonna bring in the Hex Mage. It's weird because like I I'm trying to like convince myself that this format is not completely planeswalker dominant. But I'm pretty sure it is. And, like, I don't know, man. Like, gee, I wonder if we'll get double red. MTGO gives you both and takes away your black source. Never change. Yeah. Where's the lie? I almost want censor in as well, to be honest. Take out Brawl. I don't care about you, Brawl. Like, just being able to censor a Planeswalker seems fine. But I also like every other card we have, so... Do you have Profane Command? 
Maybe we take out Profane Command for Sensor, which seems super weird, but I like Profane Command because you can get back a clone or like a Vampire Hex Mage. I mean, we have to assume we'll survive that long, but... I should It should show up in the fancy new chat, assuming scrolling is a feature. I'm gonna... I'll play first. You know what? I got all my colors. You know What, what could go wrong, guys? We can even psych in this, psych, psych in this, cycle this for like three. I'm pretty sure we're dead. Scrolling doesn't need to be a feature because I never need to scroll on the actual uh, on the actual visual representation on on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Well, enough mana to cast the card you have. What more do you need? That's exactly. That's exactly right. Oh, they haven't played anything? Yep, cool. Alright. I might just cycle this as 1-1, one, one, see what happens. It seems bad. There's no, there's, We have no pressure on us. You ready for Domri Raid? Not easily offended. I have... Um, the Phoenix stuck in my head now. Hey, look, it's fucking Domery Raid again. Super cool. Super cool, dude. Every game. I mean, I'm tempted to cycle. Actually, I'm tempted to cycle. Yeah, we can just kill Domery next turn. Let's do that. Get your stupid planeswalker out of here. Another land? Okay. Uh, let's get another black, I guess. Blue, one, two... Big creeps. So next turn we can keep Venser up and then still Grave Titan on the next turn. I like it. Ooh, baby, baby. B baby. Bloodbraid Elf. Incinerate? Sure. Get my 1-1. One, one. Oh my god, who cares? They just went to the face? That's greedy AF. Okay, this this is a ridiculous amount of lands, and I'm kind of over it. I'm not going to attack, because we're not going to win the battle with a shark. and Maybe I'll block, I don't know. I just want to Venser bounce one of their lands and then block. I think it feels fine because we're playing Grave Titan next turn. So if they had like a Elder Gargaroth or like a Siege Gang or something, they can't play it here. Garrick is fine. I'll just attack it. I'll just attack it. That ain't no thing. An argument can be made for creeping Tarpon into Garrick, but we know they have a fifth land in hand, so... Well, they got four, five. Even if they kill three of our lands, we can still clever impersonator and get be fine. So we'll see. I'm sure something absolutely busted is going to happen, and I'm going to feel really bad about my life choices. But you know, we'll see. Just realized some of the profile picks and badges are transparent because they were supposed to be green. Oh, see, Kurt, this is what we're learning here. Oh, yeah. Kurt, if you could change, like, see the text. Remember how we were we, we changed the transparency level of the text earlier? 
If you can do that, can't you just change the transparency level of background to be zero? No, that's pretty good, but you can't kill my Grave Titan. I feel like they should have attacked first. See if I block. <clears throat> sure. Well, that's, I mean, that's still pretty good, but... Seems really good, actually. Let's attack Gary. Grave Titan got Death Touch. Oh, they no blocks whatsoever. We just get to eat Gary. Gary. Oh, we're not. In, we weren't in blocks. Oh, this is actually great. That's just fine. And scene. Oh, well, let's see what it looks like if we take off the the chroma key. Interesting. Okay. Oh, we're in their upkeep. Okay, I gotta hit the. See, but when you post anything with green in it, it's just going to look super weird is the problem. And I think green is a, a pretty major color. <laughs> Fucking transparent Kermit. Why is that Kermit orange? Am I wrong in thinking the red-green deck should have a problem dealing with 6-6s? Six sixes? I hope I'm not wrong. I mean, that's, that's cute and all, but... Buddy. Oh, I got a little Noosa. What, do we get Vencer back? That's pretty cool. Ain't no Vencer back, girl. Because I'm done around, I'm wearing this damn attack. That's from uh that's from Hollerback Girl, in case you guys didn't know. So if we bounce this, if it's a good spell, they get it back in their hand. If we bounce this, they get an instant. If they bounce this, they just get to sack Yeah, we're just gonna bounce this guy. They're probably just dead if they don't block anyway, so. Let them replay it. Let them fight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a ridiculous amount of lands. One, two, three, four, five spells to ten lands. Come on. Don't do me dirty. Uh, attack Gary. Uh, uh, I don't know how to attack here, I'm going to be honest with you. Attack Gary, attack Gary, sure. We just get to kill him. No tar pit? Eh. I don't know. Uh, like, uh, we probably could have. Uh, it, it, this is a matter of, like, oh, I didn't think about it. <laughs> Which is probably worse, because they would have taken another 6-12 damage, but... You know what, man? I ain't sweating it. <laughs> I mean, do we want a clever impersonator or anything? Not really, right? Yep. Sack one of these dudes. It was just a forest. Damn. What is this from? 
eight cards revealed? Oh, they were from Bloodbraid Elf. Got it. Oh, they're just making an Ashaya. Ashaya. See, now we're going to just attack with Clever Impersonator. God, or, uh, Grooming Tar Pit. Wow, this is a lot of, uh... Can we alpha here? Is any good? They have to like double block this with like these two, double block this with these two, take eight, ten. I mean, we definitely could have like went Vencer bounce this, Vencer bounce this, right? Then they block here and here, and then they take ten. So, I mean, I don't think it would have been lethal, but. Should have clevered the whisper with the metamorph another wisp. We could still do that. Like for them to double block here and here seems pretty bad when we have six tokens. And they would also go to eight. And they have one card in hand. Yeah, I don't actually care right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are all going face, right? Yeah, this is fine. I mean, because if like you're gonna have to, to, in order to double block both Shielded and Grave Titan, you're gonna have to wipe your own board. Kerbit, I feel like this is a good trial run though. Like we're kind of figuring out like what does and doesn't work. This is something that Kurt's been working on for like a month or two now. This chat feature. And I think it's helping him pass the time. I was like, hey buddy, if it's not if it's not something you enjoy doing, like definitely don't do it. And he's like, no, it helps pass the time. And I was like, okay. That quarantine life. Okay, actually going to sleep. Kerwood, have a good night, buddy. I'll talk to you tomorrow, I'm sure. Alright, so they're killing Shielder. They're keeping their Whisperwood alive. So they're taking eight, <laughs> keeping Grave Titan... And six zombies and a creeping tar pit alive. I don't know. I don't think they have great blocks here, to be honest. So, Oh, you're just going to keep my... That's fascinating. Huh. So you're a four.
And we just gotta get Vincer back during her upkeep with shoulder. Yeah, this is probably I don't know how this is I don't know how this game is still going. Um, it's called Game Two Opponent. Yes. Game three rather. We did it. I still think sensor's probably fine in this. I like that all five of these are like removal spells. <laughs> That's kind of nice. <sighs> Shark Typhoon might be worse than sensor. It's kind of weird, but like I feel like oh, let's let's see what the, let's see let's see if it is. Just having a scent. Oh god, this could be bad. Could be good. Could be bad. I kind of like this hand. If we hit, if we hit lands, it's great. Like two removal spells is really solid. There's a guy that needs to be removed. Okay, seven drop is actually pretty similar to a, to a land. <coughs> I mean, call me crazy, but I feel like if you're playing eighteen lands, you should probably be fine keeping a two lander. But, you know, what do I know? I may be crazy. Do I just want to go for the throat this? They're going to have one, two, they're going to have five mana next turn. If they go Whisperwood, it's pretty bad. But I guess we just kill the Whisperwood. I don't know. A Blood Cleave Cliffs next. Black Cleave Cliffs would be great, but. I may be crazy. Then it goes. I mean, they could have played that either way, so. Uh, that's unfortunate. This is what I mean. Planeswalkers just dominate this format. And now, like, I have to find something that contests with this amount of pressure every turn. And I just don't have it. And this feels terrible, but like, I mean, it's just going to add up. Like, it's just incrementally worse on following turns when I have nothing to play. Having no play here is just brutal. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Well, I mean, the more I learn about this cube, the more I feel like my, um, my, my assessment of it is correct. It's not great. It is not well balanced. It is predominantly dominated by planeswalkers. Uh, all your cards need to be interactive two for ones. That's fine, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't love it, but I can bounce it, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, do they need green with this? And they had to. Oh, that's fascinating. Cool, double red card. I like it. Um, kind of okay with bouncing this guy. Is this one where you cast? Whenever another creature enters a battlefield, sure. All right, well, we're gonna vencer that guy. One, two, three. The mono green mirror. Are you talking about the one we did last, like, like I think it was last night? Add X mana. Sure. Just Terastodon. Just kill three of my lands. I can't beat that. Like, they just played again next turn. So... Yep, that was fun. Yep, if you're ramping in this format, you're probably doing well. If you're playing Planeswalkers in this format, you're doing well. If you're playing Planeswalkers that ramp you, you're probably doing well, so. You know. Good times. 
Everything is all right. Uptight, out of sight. Sure. Mm -hmm. wrong, but you may be right. But da -da -da -da. Oh, try them on try them action. <coughs> Bursty B. Interesting. All right, well, next turn we have three plays, possibly. This turn we can burst lightning something. Corsair of Crew Fix coming down. Champion of shits. Friday night I crashed your body. Tap him down. Seems good. It seems mediocre, I guess. It's all right. That's pretty good. I'd like to impersonate that. One, two, three, four. Oh, he's double blue though. Oh no. Maybe I don't want to impersonate it after all. Oh, that's unfortunate. I guess I don't care. Like all the cards in my hand are creatures that I care about anyway, so. Could have actually just played clever in person or copy this guy, keep this tap down forever. But then if they counter one spell, you're like, oh, well, I guess. They have five cards. They do not play anything. I'm confused. Here we go. Moldrifter? I kind of want a clever person in that. Yep, I'll take one. Kind of want to land as well. So, I'm definitely on the clever impersonating Mole Drifter train. Okay, well, I see where we stand now. 
I understand. <laughs> 14 cards, 5 lands, and an 18 land deck. Seems correct. Mm, Prime Speaker Zagana seems fine. Come at me, bro. No? Okay. Hey, I found a land. A very good land. It's a very good land, guys. We have the best lands. So, we're going to go Braid. Dread bore this thing. Liana to this guy. Get in there. Just taking it, you're going to five? All right. Okie dokie. <laughs> okay, that makes that makes more sense. I don't think it's better per se, but it does make sense. Okay, shoulder it seems pretty good. Could also Gadwick and draw four, which seems pretty spicy. I mean at worst we're gonna eat one of these creatures, so I mean, it's probably going to be Champion. <laughs> champion is both better off the board. And better in the graveyard. So, yep. I mean, I, I don't think Liliana is worth a... Aren't they... Like, if we can get rid of this, aren't they just dead on board? Okay, they blink Drag Tusk. That's really good. That's very, very good. Yep. You know what else is good? B roll. That's a Josh. That's a Josh Weissman. Um so Inferno Titan can just straight up kill this guy. And then we can Liliana on this guy to attack with both. Like, I just don't want them blinking Inferno Titan forever. And by Inferno Titan, I mean Drag Tusk. They can have their stupid bears. They're five again, and they have no life gain at this juncture. <clears throat> You're copying Dungeon Geists? Oh, you're copying Inferno Titan and killing Dungeon Geists. Got it. Absolutely incredible. It must be amazing to have everything you need in the exact mana you need it. That's fantastic. That's wild. Yep, cool. You get to kill my Planeswalker, you get to kill my Inferno Titan, you get to kill my Dungeon Geist, and you get to kill my Merfolk. That's fucking fantastic. And like you have the exact amount of mana you needed. The exact cards you needed. That's fucking that's incredible. <laughs> so incredible. And you're at five. Wow. That's wild. Just wild. So one, two, three, 
four, five. Gadwick, we're gonna try to hit a land. Ashiok to kill their Inferno Titan. Gadwith, which dies immediately because they have a Shriek Maw. That was an, what an incredible turn. They had an answer for Shouldered exactly when they needed it. They had answers for Dungeon Geist, Inferno Titan, Liliana, and Clever Impersonator. <laughs> it's like... Okay, so absolute overkill here. If we, I'm, I'm tapped out, so I don't know why I didn't just go with Shriek Maw and Mull Drifter because I, I don't have mana, but I guess. I, I, it's kind of weird. This guy's going to die anyway, so I might as well trade. Yeah, very weird attack there, but. Yeah, I think the gods and the planeswalkers in this cube are just not pleasant. Yeah. <clears throat> I think there are not enough answers for them. Yep, Blinking Muldrifter seems friggin' bananas here. I think Grave Titan's about as good as a card we can expect here. I'm still five. Like, we can profane command them. That would be pretty sweet, right? I mean, they have four pips now, so they can Thassa's Oracle, but, like... So they have to go up to seven or, like, draw three cards. Primal Command. They did what now? They put my land on top and gained seven? Sure. Yeah, I mean, they just win with Thousand's Oracle next turn. We know we're drawing the, uh... <sighs> yeah. So they have four, so now they have one, two, three, four. They can Thassa's Oracle, blink it, and then just win the game. Yep, that's cool. Good times. Everything is all right. Well, would love to have an answer for, <laughs> I mean, Shadow Spear actually gets rid of the indestructible on Thassa, but like, we still don't have a way to deal with an enchantment, so it's like, it's still an enchantment, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, of course they are. That makes sense.
if it makes you feel any better about your bad luck, I accidentally bought crunchy peanut butter today instead of smooth, and it's harder to scoop up with my apple slices. <laughs> Some guys have no luck, you know? I think burst lightning is underwhelming. Two, two mountain, two islands, uh, swamps. We'll get it. Uh, I'm gonna mulligan this hand. I'll keep this one. We'll sh actually we'll send Shielded back for now. This one's actually pretty decent. Like Jace comes down, we can protect it reasonably well. Any red source lets us cast in front of Titan off Reflecting Pool. Uh, target player draws a card. I'm going to choose myself. Okay, so we got two hits to draw land, and then we have a Vencer. Can we do it? Can father do it? Jade light rangy. Passes Oracle, where are you going? Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. Land? <sighs> Never fails, guys. Never fails. 18 lands. Where are we going? Jace, Ashiok, face. I think that's actually fine. Ashiok can go to two here. Jack Crow, this chat layout was made by Kerwit. And uh, we're just slowly working to, still nothing, huh? Okay. You have six cards. I'll I'll just I'll just put Jace up. <laughs> Seems good. Still no, nothing to play. <laughs> oh Lord, magic, magic, magic. Wish I had a creature in the graveyard. I could profane command for two. Kill this. Just deal them two. It's very unimpressive. Uh, Everything's next life. Sure. You and you. Two, three. X is currently two. Sounds good. It's not impressive, but. At least we got a land down. And that's really the important part, isn't it? Getting that land down? I mean, I literally think it is. I know it sounded glib and sarcastic, but... That's the real MVP. Thrag Tusk is good, but I do have a Phantasmal Image under here, which is pretty sweet. Still don't know where mana is. Still don't know where mana is. Four lands and 14 cards again with 18 lands. I don't... 
I wish I, I wish I understood it. I wish I understood it better, guys. I kind of like making our own Thrag Tusk and then... I mean, you could copy Champion of Wits, which is also not great. I think I think the rag test just puts a lot of pressure, and then we can geist it. I mean, we're in like we're we're not super far behind, but I also feels like we kind of are at the same time. Yep, that's. That's dead. We gotta kill that immediately. Don't even look at me. Ooh, sensor. Land. Okay, we're getting somewhere, guys. Look at us go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hornet Queen. She was a Hornet Queen. She said, see you later, Queen. Actually, Venser and Sensor seem pretty good to have in hand when we can actually cast both of them. Are we just doing... Are we coming back? <laughs> Buddy, that Sphinx ain't never coming back. I mean, maybe it'll come back. I have no idea, but... Maelstrom Pulse on the Ashiok? <sighs> See, again, if we had one more mana, we can go Venser, and then we can Sensor when they replay it. Actually, they don't have another mana this turn. Oh, they're going to counter my Venser. They're not going to counter my Venser. Maybe I just bounce Ashiok. Did they play a land this turn? Not yet. Yeah, I'll just bounce Ashiok. They also have 12 cards left in their deck. Like, Ashok's doing work, man. Ooh, they did have Overgrown. They were probably just like, you know what? Let it resolve. And I was like, nah, bro. One, two, three, one, two. I think we just want to... I think we, I think we can let, let Jace go at this point. They have four cards. We have like a thousand. So, I think we're good on that front. I think we just want to keep on Ashioking. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna counter it now. Oh wow, we get to censor this. Yeah, I'll loot. Sure, heartless act. Is that better than something we have in hand? I think that's actually worse than every card we have in our hand. Wow, we hit a Euro and a Thassa. That's pretty cool. If they want to spend their turn, like, activating this guy, like, that's totally fine. Like, they can block here, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, go to 5. Sure. Like, if they want to spend their turn, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If they want to spend their whole turn bringing a champion, like, they're probably dead. So... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, for sure I'll do that. We have three blue. I think we just want another blue. Because we have three black and three red as well. So I'd rather have four blue, three black, three red. Because Gadwick is just draw four here. Like, I don't think it matters. We're just going to win the game right now. Like, no matter what we play, they're dead. So... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we just win the game. There we go. Um, again, I don't think we saw any planeswalkers. Like Bur burst lighting kills their dirtles, but the one for one cost of this just doesn't feel great. I kind of like mind shatter a little bit. Profane command was just great when we had it. Like it just killed their guy. Baral that gave us some discounts. I don't know. Well, this hand actually seems good. Get 
busy drowning. Well, that's actually pretty decent. We're definitely going to play Baral here. I don't think I need to keep up a braid. We can just upgrade on their turn. Worth noting, they do have Force of Negation. you have no draws and it just ends up being a fucking two lands <laughs> okay literal exact opposite of what I wanted if we had a land I might just clever impersonator to that to be honest what did they play? they played nothing and we drew nothing okay seems good they played a forest what? why? very confusing so they did nothing they didn't play Zagoth's Triumph even though Clemson played Taft they just played a forest and we missed the land again we missed the land every game every game we've missed multiple land drops in our in our 18 land deck and they have no blue mana up okay and oh my god, this is so fucking stupid, dude. It's absolutely infuriating. Sure. Did they play Island last turn? They played Hinterland Harbor, so we still only have Island and four other cards. Like, what is it, turn six? Yep. Like, if I can hit a blue source, I can just copy that guy and it'll feel decent. And people wonder why I've been more negative and frustrated in my, in my videos. Like, 12 cards, three lands. 18 land deck, okay. This is really a matter of play skill and deck building skill. I didn't wonder, but <laughs> I appreciate you. Um, Jesus. Like, if only we had 19 lands. I agree with you. That's the difference. 19 is the sweet spot. Just keep adding lands until you can literally hit your land drops and not have to mulligan to oblivion every game mm. it's turn seven we have not drawn a land outside our opening hand so well they didn't counter it so i feel fine taking two here did they ever play that they still have an island in hand right like Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Dude, this is insane. This is literally unreal. Double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue, triple blue, four mana, four mana, four mana, three mana, X mana. <sighs> Just to be clear, none of these are instants that cost one less, right? No? Guess not. Wait, they discarded... They haven't played the swamp, the island, right? Oh, it looks like they might have played the island here. Yeah, they didn't play... Alright, so we'll just assume that's gone. Land? It's 
still doesn't let us play literally, it still lets us play nothing in our hand. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh god. What an absolute joke. It frustrates me because I'm like, well, if only I was a better player, then I'd be able to I'd be able to win more matches if my play skill was higher. What did you get back? Probably something unbeatable. Thrag Tusk. I mean, right now, let's be honest, that's pretty unbeatable. Blue Source? No. Okay. Yeah. Fucking amazing. In Vintage Cube, I would have things like Signets and Moxon to, to supplement my mana base when I don't actually draw my lands. Uh, in this format, you're literally like, well, draw one of your 18 lands or lose. So... Plus, in Vintage Cube, I would also have broken things that cost less than 4 mana, like Dak Faden, or Grim Monolith, or... You know. Sure. <laughs> it's, it's just a blue-black deck now. Playing three colors unlimited has no bear. Like it's, this is what people don't understand. This is what, this is what drives me. It kind of, kind of drives me crazy. Like when people make that make that comparison because like, this is not normal limited. This is a format where I have fixing, and so I have literally like nine sources of blue and eight sources of black. And if you play any Zendikar Rising draft and Ikoria draft, you're playing two colors, and your mana base is literally nine islands, eight swamps. You have the same number of sources in your deck in a two-color deck, as I do in my three-color deck. I don't think it has anything to do with, uh, with, thir with the third color. I may not be good at Maz, buddy, but them odds that that last game were BS. What can you do? I'm trying to, like, not let it get to me as much. So. And now I can't lily out of this, unfortunately, but... Now I can't lily out of this, unfortunately, but... I wish I could kill these with Liliana. But alas, I cannot. I should have attacked first there, that would have been the pro play. Might have actually been able to get this off the board, but. Jade Light Ranger. Cycle Triome. <laughs> It's actually pretty funny. I like to play land before, but I'm a good cat. Hmm. Let's keep this thing tapped down forever. I mean, if we draw a red mana first, I'm, I'm ready to draw an B. That's true. At least I can cast my spells in hand. I, uh, in, in my, in my time playing magic, I definitely don't look that, look that, uh, I don't take, I don't take that for granted. Did he say he doesn't take it for granted? Oh, good. Now they just get to kill dungeon guys. Always a pleasure. So we can just murderous cut this, which I almost feel like is good because they just have significantly less mana if we do that. Alright. 
mean, we're still trying to ultimate Liliana and also cast Grave Titan next turn, so. Lumbering Falls? I mean, I'm tempted to just block, to be honest with you. Eh, I think Liliana can go to three here. I mean, worst case scenario, like, we don't hit a land, we Phyrexian Metamorph, or we, uh, yeah, okay, let's do that. Bad daddies. And now Baral's getting in there. I mean, this is weird because we haven't drawn a red card or a red land this entire game, but... I mean... It is what it is. We haven't needed it as well. Oh, Metamorph on Immortal Sun actually seems pretty decent. One, two, three, four, five, six. What about Profane Command on Joreal? Hmm. Getting back Dungeon guys. tap the cat. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Or do we just ignore the creatures, give all our creatures fear? They go to 15, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus 5. Oh, 6. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 6, eight. they go to 3. I feel like it's almost better to copy this. One, two, three. If we copy this, we can still... We can metamorph this for three. And then we can cast this for three. Killing this. Giving them fear. Wait, what? Do our spells cost more? No. So wait, why am I... Oh, because it still costs three. Don't be a dummy. Okay. So now our, our spells cost one less and one less. So we can do this for three. Kills this. Can't get back Dungeon Geists, unfortunately. One, two, three... Target player loses X life. No, I don't think life is irrelevant. I'd rather just kill their guys, give my guys fear. Uh, you choose X target creatures. One, two, three. Three? Okay. Man, discount the discount be real. And now we can alpha here. Because fear, fear, fear. So if they if they block here, they I mean we probably should have given Grave Titan fear, but I I don't know. Like maybe this is still fine. But it 
just may be a lunatic you're looking for. Turn out the lights. Don't try to save me. I don't know what green and blue can actually do on a board like this. There's no like upheaval. Yeah, that's fine. You can't actually activate the abilities. Mm -hmm. Do you think they realize they can't activate this? Mm, so they're dead. Even if they block here and here, they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11. Plus Tarpon. Okay. Fear is like un unlockable for boomers. <laughs> Fear is like unblockable for boomers. <laughs> it's actually fucking hilarious. Oh, Jesus. Well, we have a braid to deal with Immortal Sun if that happens again. This definitely feels like a Shivan Fire deck. We're just killing all their their nerds. I'm gonna take Shark Typhoon out. <laughs> Fucking blockable for boomers. See, that's funny. Okay, I'm gonna keep this hand because two lands on the draw need a red source. But I got a good feeling, guys. Ready? This is gonna be it. Black Cleave Cliffs off the top, and we're gonna feel like a fucking champion. Okay, that's you know that still counts. God, how does he do it? You may sit you may be sitting at home asking yourself. How does he do it? That thing's dead too. Ugh. I'm just gonna take two here. I wanna go for the throat and a braid up. Oof, really? I want the abrade because I think Immortal Sun in the late game is probably more threatening. Plus, if they play a creature, we have Metamorph and stuff, so. Look at these Triomes, man. The old Triome tryhard. Alright, well, now we're running out of lands, so we're, we're coming up to that, that age old problem. It's gotta be coarser. Eh, Fertile Footsteps is fine. That's like doing nothing. How's our viewer count so low tonight? That's really weird. Usually it's never, it's never this low. I wonder if the, did you guys get notifications? Oh, Christ. Sometimes you just might as well not fucking fire up the magic online that day. Never fails. We've almost drawn as many six drops as we have lands. So that's cool. This isn't my beautiful. This isn't my beautiful mana base. Do they just have? What do they, do they just have nothing? Okay. Well, you're trying. You're really trying. Magic's like, this is all I got here. I'm sorry. Now this is where I regret the go for the throat play when they play their their beanie boy. Well, we can make a 4-4, guys. Whoa! So, Teamer and Sultai seems good. That's fine. Oh, they have one card in hand. All right. Well, sit on back beans so they can go one, two, three, fertile again, get another land, which is fine. It's the least of my concerns right now. Friday night I crash jump party couldn't draw on the lands cause this deck's fucking this is amazing. I'm gonna go 03 because I literally can't 
draw more than four lands a game. It's absolutely wild. And I guess we can play Liliana here and, uh, you know, start ticking. Gives us a block with the Beanstalk Giant, or a, bl like a block with Venser and then get it back, I guess. I ain't no super fritz, but you know, I'm gonna go to the kitchen to mine some sandwiches. I feel like this is still probably the best thing you can do when you. Yep, it seems fine. All right, magic's like here you go, man. We're gonna give you another turn. Oh god, I love it. Love it. I love it. Let's neg this guy. How are we still in this game? That's wild to me. Draw two. Not Neither one was a land. Dude, 16 cards, 5 lands is pretty wild. I mean, thankfully, I think we can cast Nickel Bolas here. Yeah, we can go black, 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 red, blue. Tatio was actually fine. Oh, they don't have a land? What do you have if not a land? What do you have if not land? Oh, they were going face? They weren't even caring about Liliana? That's wild. What is happening right now? I mean, if we hit a land being able to go like gravy tea, we did not we did not hit that. One, two, three, four, five. Tap this down. This is getting countered for sure. Like, there's no literal no way this resolves. Fucking amazing. <sighs> Jesus. Six land would have really probably been... It would have probably broke the client, I think, so... Sometimes you just you just know you're asking for too much, you know. You're just like, I mean, I guess they would have countered a, a grave titan anyway, but who knows, man? Magic's hard. Oh, three guys, thank you for watching. Oh, wait, we got another round. <laughs> okay, okay, there's still time. Not oh three yet. 1-2 is still alive, guys. 1-2. We can make it happen. Cap'n. I'm going to say yes to the dress. Okay, you know what? Five lands? That's all I need to see. We're going to draw two red cards, but, you know. What can you do? To be fair, that felt like game four. Dude, it felt like... Game 12. I run bad, but you are the alpha and omega of mana screens. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm pretty sure there's some setting on the back end and Wizard tweaked it to just fuck me over. But. I just can't prove it. That's fine. I'll just keep playing their game. Heartless act. Saturday, I played this card today. Oh, my God. We have so many three and four drops in this deck that it's unreal that we drew seven lands and three spells this game. Like, there's no balance. It's unbelievable. I don't know how, like, I don't even know how this could be my fault. I'm trying to, like, be objective and be like, well, what if I did this instead? And it's like, no, that thing doesn't exist that I'm talking about. Yep. Okay, so they're drawing a forest. Forced. 
What impresses me the most is that I run 17 lands and construct and don't get as much mana screw as he does in 40 cards. Yeah, it's insane. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't want to copy any of these things. I wanted to copy this. I mean, I might as well do this, right? Get in there, creepy. Tatiova is actually immensely copyable for us. Like, we can go copy Tatiova, play land, um, Shieldred next turn, which seems pretty good. But Tatiova, Joel Real is actually also a really sweet combo, so. Um, I think Metamorph is probably the better card to use here. Do we want to take two and take three mana? I think, I think we do. And the reason being, we have a ton of three drops. So, like, if we draw Jace or Ashiok, we want to be able to play it. We draw a Triumph, but we can still cycle it, even though it's our only red source. Well, what can you do? Four Klondike bar. Yep, yeah, that's a pretty sweet combo. Every land replaces itself and makes a 2-2. Two -two. Okay, Gilded Lotus. And we know they have Crater Hoof, so that's three, four, five, six, seven. It'll probably kill us next turn, I'm sure. See, that's why we kept Clever and I guess it doesn't matter. We could copy with this, too, but. Yep, now all their guys are humongous, so that's good. I guess we'll take seven, go to ten. I mean, my Goblin Vile Modern deck full of 3 and 4 mana costs runs 20 lands just fine. If, if I'm going to play that deck, it would need to go up to 25 lands. Where's the lie? I mean, this seems like better than Clever Impersonator. I mean, they're just going to Crater Hoof us and kill us, I'm pretty sure. They get to draw 3 cards a turn from Immortal Sun and Tatiova. So, yep. Ready? I'm ready. Anticipation is mounting. Oh, just a fertile footsteps. Draw another card. Sure. Seems good. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. And your spells cost less, so that's good. Ten, ten. Rin, ten, ten. I don't know what we can do to actually stop this. I guess we can kill this with burst lightning. They still make cats with a mortal sun, though, so it's like really a braid. Wow! We still only have one red here, but... It's not the worst, right? One, two for a braid. We can clever impersonate the immortal sun. I guess we do get to draw a card. Play this. Gain a life, draw a card. Actually, Brawl's not terrible, right? A braid for one... Okay, this is this is the dream we're living. Destroy an artifact. Oh, they have Mystic Snake, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> Sigh. To live in a world where they don't always have it. Oh well, what can you do? What can you do for me? I mean, we tried. We tried our hardest. 
I'll sacrifice the cat because it's just worse. Make a new cat. Like, we're just waiting for the day they, they play Crater Hoof, right? They have 15 cards, 5 in hand. We have the same engine, but they have an end game that just comes down and kills us, so. just happened oh they just oh they they activated yeah sure cool sounds good thank you guys for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons be sure to send me some pity likes and subscribes if you guys want to support the channel you can check out nordvpn.org slash frank to get 68 percent off and a free month any two-year subscription uh they have a 30-day money-back guarantee you can unlock region locked content and uh you can also check out manatraders.com they are a great sponsor of the stream and you get uh, 20 percent off any subscription so definitely check them out and uh i'll see you next time thanks for watching